on the table today at Squirrel Stampede. Are you ready to be grossed out? Or the real question, how many times are we going to make this poor little squirrel throw up by showing off Mega Gross Minis Series 2 The Return? Last time we saw some really serious sick stuff and I think they've upped it another level with the second series. There are a lot of maggots running around the table. So follow along in as we pop open some of the most disgusting minis micros you will ever see with Mega Gross Minis Series 2 and see how many times that poor little squirrel is gonna heave. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, share, and squirrel live. All right, let's dig right into these. This is the Mega Gross Minis Series 205 Surprise. How many times can we make the squirrel puke? <laughs> oh, Landry, we haven't even started yet. Gotta say, the packaging for Series 2, amazing. Look how bright. It is super fluorescent orange. You can spot these from a mile. The patella you might not want to spot from a mile. Last year we had some very quality poles. I can't wait to see what's in store for this year. And don't forget the double triple. Quadruple packaging sometimes. Ball number one. So if you recall from last year, the minis are packaged in this awesome Mega Gross Minis trash bag. Very convenient. There's three minis in each ball, followed by, of course, oh gross, toilet slime. Is that really toilet slime? Oh, that's just great. Oh, Landry did not like the toilet slime. I think the fifth surprise is usually a sticker, which isn't so bad. I usually mock the stickers, but this is a better quality sticker. This is Tony's famous toenail tacos. <laughs> Delicious, but yeah, a little quality, a little higher level sticker than what you normally see. Let's open these three before I check the guide. These will be our surprise, our five surprise. We don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh, wow, oh, there's actual liquid in this? Next level. This is Ivian, Ivian, I can't say it, Ivian, and it's, it's eyeball eye drops, and there's actual liquid in the bottle. That is a first in all the miniatures I've opened up before. I don't think I've ever seen active liquid inside. I'll be curious how long the liquid will stay. If you're watching this review in, say, 2027, is the liquid still there? Let us know in the comments. And like all of these, you can read fine print in there. Getting my bifocals on non-nutritional facts. Eye boogers, 98%. Eye maggots, 44%. Eye sleep crust, 38%. Sourced from the unpurest waters of Lake Conjunctivitis, Ivion contains essential minerals and vitamins like I, S, O, R, and E. Just all around. Look at the eyes. The eyes are just flavorful. Yummy. Well, that's a good start. Just set that one right there, I guess. Oh, Landry, sorry, buddy. And what can we gross ourselves out with next? Bah, oh, we've got shocks. Some of these can be pretty graphic besides the product. We've got some guy's poor leg being chopped, maggoted, and uh, well, toes popping from the shocks. Nice little tag, $29.99. That's a nice little extra to this. Ugly and hideous, that's the beauty of shocks. I like how they're making fun of Crocs right there in a pretty realistic way. Oh, Landry did not throw up on that one. And our third final mini of this ball. Something chippy. Ooh. Maggot two minute spudels. Vomit spicy, yum. Next level design again. You got both the packaging and then a bowl of the spudels pouring out with the maggots in. And more fascinating fine print. Cooked in minutes, sick for hours. The name really tells you everything. They're noodles. They take two minutes to cook, and they taste like spew. That's because maggot two minute spudels are made with only the best quality freeze dried baby barf, cat vomit, C6 spew ingredients. <laughs> no, the squirrel did not like that one. So some pretty sick things to start with. I would say the Ivion is probably one of the best of the series. All right, the guide. Let's familiarize ourselves with what's in this collection. Wow, so right at the start, we opened something with real liquid. There's only three out there with real liquid, and we found one. Ivy on the first pole. Very cool. 
We also have glow in the dark. We've seen something like that before. I don't believe my sputals are glow in the dark. They usually have kind of like a little film. Uh, we can test it out though. A uh, sticky scented. Oh gosh. And then we go on to the common. The common collection. I see monster is spewed in there. Listerine maybe. Green X. Oh, an actual L O O uh, or a L O O doll. Uh, that's fun when Zero makes fun of their own things. I love that. Uh, and then there's also messed up brands. Oh, we gotta find a messed up brands ball. Dr. Pooper. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Raw rat milk. Rat milk has returned. I love it. It's got like a whole brand. And next to that kidney surprise, kind of like Kinder Joy. Just open those minions, Kinder Joys, and everyone shunned that review. I even ate some really disgusting things in there. Poopsie. There's a lot of poop stuff, a lot of poop jokes. Spittles for Skittles. There's our Crocs. Uh, oh gosh, there's some really great things. So we got to keep going through here and finding some fun stuff. Rolling in our next ball, what will we discover? It's always fun when you first get these. You get all brand new. You're not hitting repeats every five seconds. the pop of a modern five surprise ball. Okay, three fresh new gross minis coming at ya. Ooh, we may have got a magnifying glass in this one. Sometimes you get a helpful magnifying glass. Oh yes, a very helpful magnifying glass. That helped in the mini brands books. And our first gross mini. The texture on these back, my fingers are turning orange. It's like Cheetos. All right, we're gonna, oh gosh, what an explosion. Sicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. Making fun of the Big M McDonald's 10 sicken nuggets. Oh, it, it's so just, they're gooey, they're gummy. It's so well done on the design of these. And the box art there, it just looks gross. Mick maggots, poor McDonald's. How much longer are they gonna last when they get this fun of made of? And some funny fine print to take note of. The nastiest nuggets ever. Golden, crispy, juicy, gross goodness. Okay, maybe not goodness, but they're definitely golden. Bite into McMaggot's sickened nuggets and taste the unmistakably explosion of creamy, chewy maggot guts straight out of the deep fryer. Served hot to you. <coughs> oh, that got Landry. And what do we got here? Oh, this is gross. I don't even know if I want to show or even say some of these. Dog log with real brownie goodness. Dog log. Oh, that is probably one of the just, yeah, I don't even like this one. They went a little too far with that one. Yo, I'm going to start puking. And what shall we find here? A plunger. Okay, this is a little better, if not still pretty gross. Budinsky's peanut butter. Oh, that's just wrong. These are getting wrong. I can do like the maggots and the rat milk pretty well, but I have a little bit of a yuck thing with this theme. That's nasty. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you, Landry. Yuck. Not really a fan of any of those. Maybe the sicken nuggets. That's pretty cool. That's a really quality piece. For sticker though, we got the smell on the shelf. Must be making fun of the elf on the shelf brand. And another bag of toilet slime. We'll check out the toilet slime at the end. So a little bit too far on that last ball. I didn't really care for those. Let's see if they get better. Gonna have a few bags of this toilet slime today. So bright orange. Uh, we'll start with our old lice sticker. Yeah, old lice. That's clever. That's starting us off good. I even like the little lice logo up top. That's that's a really good one. Clever design. Not just going straight to the toilet on that. Well, we begin with oh, mind barf. Yes, mind barf. That's sick. A uh, Pus Five game. Last time, one of my favorites was the Pus Five system, and now we have a game to play along. Actual physical content still. I like that. Oh, that is a really nicely designed. You got a little shininess on the, the game disc. Great creeper throwing up in a toilet imagery. That's good, that, that's not too far. I can go with that. That is a top of the collection so far today. The IVN and the Mind Barf. 
Choke a block chunder fun. Dig and barf. That's how you explore the exciting world of mine barf. Chunder underground and create your own spew cities and more. Explore a blocky three-dimensional world with infinite vomit terrain. There's even an icon of a guy throwing up <laughs> next to the controller. That one is just really cool and highlights just how detailed these can get. Good ball so far. Maybe pizza. <laughs> oh gosh. Chucky Sneeze, Fluicious Pizza. This is another great one. Oh, the days of your spending time in Chucky e. T's. And now Chucky e. doesn't feel so good. Look at that pizza coming out from the side. It's so it's got a little rubberiness to it. It's got some slime, some uh, sneeze mucus drooling down from it. Flemmy sized pizza. It's not just a pizza, it's a Chucky e. Sneeze pizza. The sloppy topping. That crust, sure, they're a nose ahead of others, but what's our secret ingredient? It has to be the extra stringy, stretchy, flurry snotzilla cheese. That's what makes a Chucky e. Sneeze pizza so darn fluicious. And if you don't like our pizza, you're a weird dough. Nice pun there. Don't really appreciate the uh, swearing there though. Okay, so final, final pack in this probably best ball of the day poll. Ah, oh, repeat, maybe not so well. Another heaping bowl of maggot two-minute sputals, and neither of these have been glow-in-the-dark. So even though that was a repeat in the center, that was an all-star ball pull. If that was your only ball to pull, you'd be really pleased with those. <coughs> Ugh, and Landry really threw up on that one. Well, our store shelves will begin to pile up here. We've got a lot of good things to shelve on up with. Rolling in next. Oh, there goes everything. Not sure if we can top IVN and Mine Barf. Those are perfect. We begin another Make a Gross Minis. Whoa, kidney surprise. So yeah, if you missed our Minions Kinder Joy Egg where I mix everything together with things that you'd never think to be mixed with and then eat it, check that video out. Link is up above. Aw, this bag is nicely tucked, tucked in. Let's see if I can get my fingers even more orange. I might have to try dissolving one of these bags. They feel like a Mr. Beast's experiment from earlier uh, this month. Oh, what? Something Wong's Foot Odor Fortune Cookies. Excellent. Oh, this is a good one. Look at that, we got a sock with bugs. Realistic sculpted fortune cookies. Kind of a horrible play off that airplane crash meme with genuine unlucky fortune message inside. <laughs> that's what you gotta have, so. That's a good one. That's It's a nice 3D designed product and a little squishy up top, the sock's a little soft. Yeah, that's a good one. And I think we might have pulled another magnifying glass. Yeah, kind of like an extra little surprise there. Collect enough of these, that's what you'll find. Mm, kind of flat. I thought it might be. I thought we might have our second Chucky e. Sneeze pizza. Yeah, it had that feeling right along. Oh well, that's a good double. And, and... This is different. Oh, there's the toenail taco. That matches up with the sticker we got earlier. Tony's famous toenail taco. Hard to see from the side, but there you go. You got a full on toe in there. Oh, that's just rancid. I think those are all pieces of toenail. Those are, that is sick. That is sick and wrong. <laughs> wow. That's great to see something different, but totally awesome tacos. Yuck. Wow. And Landry puked again. Well, that's a fairly good one. If that was your only pull, then yeah, I think that would be a good ball. Yeah, those are all pretty nicely designed pieces. Look how orange my fingers are getting from the packages. That is so weird. I don't think I've ever had that before. There's still, whoa, almost ran through Landry's puke on that one. There's still quite the collection to look for here though. How many 40 plus to collect? I think last time we did pretty good. We got about half maybe. Always looking forward to the sticker first. And so it must be the Skittles Spittles one. Hey, it's Spittles, not original. More bags of toilet slime. How's the table doing? The table's kind of getting a little bit roughed up again. One of these days, it's just gonna crack down the center. Okay, good, good tidings and thoughts with this pack. Ooh, another magnifying glass. Now I just have to try this. The packaging has that matte feeling bringing out the Squirrel Stampede Aquatic Center with the secret mustard inside. Let's drop one of these uh, in here, see what happens. I hope it doesn't destroy the print. 
Is it going to dissolve? Nope. Really felt like that dissolving package material. Probably just ruined like an all-star um, product in there. So no, as even though these feel kind of like they would dissolve in water, they don't. That's kind of a missed opportunity. It would have been kind of fun. Uh, what do we got now that I've destroyed whatever is inside? Oh, it's a Monster Energy drink. Ironically pulled from liquid. Or is it Magster? It's always maggots with them. Maggot power juice. Magster energy. That almost looks like what happened to our trash can last weekend. Wow, it's got a little crunch to it. That's pretty cool how they kind of crunched it in a little bit in the design. Feels like it does look and feel and behave almost like a, an aluminum, aluminum can. What do we got here for some small print? So that was a good one to pull. I wanted to see this one just because it's such a recognizable brand. What is that, two more in here? Two more or did I just do one? Okay, oh, we've got another Jacques Croc. Too bad they didn't do these uh, in left and right. We could have had like, we could have been searching for both sides. But it's actually a pretty good one. I'm, I'm impressed how detailed and rubbery and realistic the Shrocks look compared to the Crocs. And our final. Okay, oh, there's the Old Spice, or the Old Lice. Old Lice Original. Got even a little guy there, a little bug. Oh, it's kinda got a weird deodorant, kinda soft rubbery feel up top. That's another clever one for the series, that's another win. Even has a radiation symbol warning, uh-oh. For decades, Old Lice has been responsible for keeping the armpits of millions of humans infested with hungry, hair-eating, horrible lice. Yeah, that one's fun. I it's the simple ones that are the best, not when they're overthought. So those three polls were pretty good. I like those quite a bit, especially the Magster Energy Drink. I've got, I've got two left. I've got two left. And I think from the pile of puke the squirrel has thrown out on us, we're getting close to the end. I don't think he could take much more. Sticker says, something wongs. That another magnifying glass? Nice. Maybe like 50-50 on magnifying glass? Maybe 40, 40, 60? It's not on every one of them. Oh, yes! The rat milk! I can leave this earth happy. Rat milk! For fun, I had placed the uh, milk carton of rat milk in our refrigerator and it's been sitting in there for quite a while. We had two of them, so the other ones in the refrigerator. Maybe that's why our refrigerator broke. Um, yeah, raw rat milk. And this is just extra creamy. Look at him shooting, the rat shooting from the top there. His tail, I like the tail. That's one of my favorite parts of the other one, how his back section was, was coming out there. Oh, I love the rat milk. I'm glad they continued with this series on the rat milk. There better be a, a gross series three with more rat milk, maybe some rat cream or something. Uh, rat ice cream, that would be great. Oh, this is ice cream. This is raw rat milk ice cream. I don't, why didn't I not see that? When it's summer and you need to cool off, nothing beats the milky, yellowy, and totally radical flavor of raw rat milk ice cream. We milk only the nastiest rats pure. Vermin milk straight into the churn and fresh into your bowl. Enjoy it with the whole family. Yay, rat milk everybody, yay. Oh, more toenail tacos. And last one. Feels promising. It's different. What, it, oh my goodness. It's making fun of the phone. And we have pulled the one and only original iPhone. An eyeball and brain resting, a phone resting on a brain and an eye. We have some interesting apps on there like Fartbook. This one, yeah, this one is great for easily placing on a shelf for everyone just to kind of realize how much we are just stuck on our phones. Highly sculpted design one too, really good, well done. So with the rat milk ice cream and the iPhone, plus the toenail tacos, that was another great ball pull. Another good one, even if a repeat on the toenail tacos. <coughs> Ooh, Landry did not like those. Oh, so our last ball, our last Mega Gross Series 2 ball. That was certainly fun. You don't want to go too many with these for sure, or you're just going to fill up with repeats. So I think, I think I did six today. That's five to six is about my balance. You don't want to go too far from that. 
Oh, sad times, the last ball pop. Last sticker, the classic ice cream bite me. Looking good on that one. Haven't found the product for that one. Last bag. Whoop, another magnifying glass. So yeah, I would say 50-50 on the magnifying glasses today out of the six or seven. Six? Now I don't, I can't remember. Okay, some more something Wong's fortune cookies. See, we're really getting into repeat zone. And another monster energy drink. That's a good one though for my shop, for my mini mart pretend shop. And our final bag, it's come to this, our final one. What is it gonna be? Any guesses? Any guesses? Oh, this might be perfect. This might be just the perfect, perfect end to this. Messed up brands. What a great way to wrap up Mega Gross Mini Series 2 than with Peru's Messed Up Brands, a play off their own mini brands. Love the fact that they can make fun of their own brand. And there it is. We've opened many of these over the years. It's been a while since we've done a full uh, a current series, but man, it, well, they're just dropping so many different styles lately. It's like shoes and books and everything in between. So it's hard to keep up, but the Mega Gross Minis have been fun. And you can see the Mega just splatting out of there. So what a finish, what a finish. So even though I pulled a couple repeats on that one, this one was totally worth seeing with the messed up brands. That is so messed up. Collect and forget them all. <coughs> Landry needs some more puking space. And with that, my fingers are as orange as you can get. I even kind of rinse them a little bit. It's like Cheetos, like Cheetos. Well, there we have it. I did fairly well, I would say, pulling about 15 unique Mega Gross Minis from Series 2 with only three Mega Gross Minis per ball. It takes a little while to collect up a full table, but I say we did well. My favorites are up front here. It's a toss up between the Mind Barf and the Ivion for favorites and the Rat Milk and Messed Up Brands also rounding up the top. Then as we go towards the back row, there's things that are just too disgusting to even think about. <laughs> oh, poor little squirrel, poor little squirrel. Oh, before we end things too, we do have to check out this toilet slime. Wow, last time it was green, I think. This time it's toilet slime. And I believe there's maggots in here. Yeah, there's maggots, that's just wrong. Oh, that's sick and wrong. So if you collect enough of these, you're going to have a big bowl of maggot slime. Probably because of the maggots and the color, one of the grossest slimes I've seen. It's pretty easy to realistically replicate a maggot in plastic and they look real. And so that is just sick and wrong. Oh gosh, a few of these, you can have some fun. Place some of this in the fridge. And with these helpful five surprise balls, you can easily restore these and keep this fresh for a little while, a little while. And that's the disgustingness of Mega Gross Minis Series 2. I like the ones that play off maggots and lice a little more than some of the really disgusting back row stuff. But pretty fun collection, highly detailed overall. What do you think? If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squamant, your favorite Mega Gross Mini Series 2, or maybe something you saw from the first series. Don't forget we have a Squirrel Stampede merch out there, like t-shirts, water bottles, plush Landry. Gotta fix that link, though. I gotta fix my link. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. That's what I have to say about that. Now with fear, he's clear. You can pull it back by itself. Oh no! Maybe not do that. <laughs>